For the love of DJing, welcome to the channel. I'm DJ Cam Reeve, and today is a gear review day. I'm gonna be reviewing and giving you my honest opinion here on the Rockville Totem Moving Head light stand uh, that has the black and white scrim along with the carry bags. Uh, I bought this in October of 2020 and I've loved them. They've been awesome to have because of how compact they are. This is your base bag with the bases in it, along with your totem um, upright pieces. So let's give you my honest opinion. As you can see, I've been using this for about two years. Uh, on average, I, these are my nicer ones, the ones I kind of keep really nice uh, and keep in the studio. And I, they only go out for the nicer weddings and the bigger weddings. I actually have three sets of these because I do like them so much. Um, and uh, when you buy them, they come with a white scrim. All right, this white scrim right here. Come with white scrim. They come with a black scrim. And then they come with, oh, look at me just dropping stuff left and right. All right. Come with the uh, bolts. This is something I added on later. This is a longer scrim so that I can get kind of like a, I don't even know the best way to describe it. You know when the scrims have extra fabric and they're a little more pushed together, uh, that line look. And then they also come with some bars. So let's tell you a little bit about the first thing I struggled with when I first bought them. So with the Rockville ones, they're a good product. Do not get me wrong, but they, when they built them, I've got these plates here and you'll notice that they have these welded on here. Um, they are not perfectly straight. Some of them are done really, really well. Some of them are not so great. So what I had to do when I first bought them is I had to make the holes right here and the holes right here on certain ones larger. So I just took a drill to them and made them larger so that I could push them through the holes with no issues. Because these nipples are not perfectly straight. Um, it's super hard to show you, but uh, they're not straight at all. And if you look close enough, and I don't even know if I can get close enough for you guys to see, um, there's little bubbles right here. So they're not perfectly straight. Now. Is that a flaw? Sure, you could say it's a flaw, but with a little work, it didn't take much um, to get them usable and to a point that I'm happy with them. Um, I use these about every other wedding. I have two that are already pre-built, um, but for the most part, I am building these at my gigs. Now, you're supposed to use these. These plates are used as stabilizers. Uh, this comes with four of them, and I've used them with and without uh, because I have forgot them at the house before in the past uh, when I set them up to kind of play around with them. And I got to the gig and I was like, oh no, those plates are not in here. They're in another bag. And so, um, they do work, but for the bigger fixtures, you don't want to not have them. You want to make sure you have these stabilizers. So you'll notice as I'm putting it in, this, this was acting tight. So what I recommend is you don't tighten everything until you get everything on there because they're the, the nipples in that are grabbing the, the bolts are not perfectly straight. So I'll put them in 
should go like this. And then you'll do the same thing on the top. One of the tricks I've learned for the top, when you're doing the top, pull it out and up a little bit so your hands don't get caught by these little, the pieces that hold it tight. So that's one of the ones that doesn't have a straight pin. So you just kind of have to fiddle with it a little bit. Eventually on this channel, I'm gonna have uh, two cameras, maybe even three, so I can show you guys close-ups while I'm doing this stuff. Um, but for now, we're diving into it. Showing you a little bit of what I do and what I've learned. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hurry and move this uh, table so you guys can see it and uh, we'll uh, show you a little bit into it. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I've assembled it and uh, it's pretty sturdy for the most part when you assemble it. Now you'll, you'll recognize that earlier in the video, um, I said I don't tighten them all the way, all the screws. So, and that's just because when you're putting it together, it's nice to have a little wiggle, wiggle room so that because the nipples are not straight, you can actually put them in and kind of push it sideways to get it so that you can get it straight. And then I'll go and I'll hurry and tighten them all we can do that. And I'll do a little wiggling again. That's much sturdier. We're also on carpet, so that's gonna make a difference as well. Um, I have a moving head here with me today. We're gonna pull that out and put it on top. But before we do, I just wanted to quickly show you the scrims that come with it versus the scrim that I purchased, and I'll put those links in the uh, bio. Again, I'm not getting paid for this. Um, I'm literally just doing this because I wanna, I decided it's time to just start making reviews and letting people know about the gear I use. Okay, so these black ones uh, that come with it, they're fantastic, they look nice. To pull it up, I'm just gonna pull the pins and put them, turn them halfway so that I can just do it in one sweep. Then I'm gonna click them back in, and then there we go. So the scrims that come with them, they fit it pretty nicely. Um, you have a little extra fabric, not a lot of extra fabric that comes with it. So the black one, because uh, we're here in the studio and I've got a black background, I'm sure that's not the easiest thing to see. Let's see if I change the Astera if you can, the Astera tube up above, if you can see it better. Nah, all right. Well, let's go to the white and show you the white. Okay. Again, this is the scrim or sock, as they call it on Amazon, that they use that comes with it. Again, it looks really nice, but there's really no extra fabric, okay? So, um, and the other thing is once you put the fabric on, it gets a little tighter in my personal opinion. So now I'm gonna show you um, what I purchased beyond this. So this is, I'm six foot tall. I'm actually 5'11 and a half. Thank you very much, but I'm six foot because we round up. Um, and uh, I bought a scrim or quote unquote a sock on Amazon that is nine foot. So this is a nine foot sock. And let me see. I like to make sure the creases are in the back. So I'm gonna put this on. Now, if you've been working with truss and gear and all that kind of stuff, my recommendation is to go wash your hands before you uh, play with the scrim because they'll get dirty. 
and I've done that mistake where I've set up a full truss rig and then I've grabbed these or after a gig, I'll grab them and start pulling them off and go, oh crap, my hands are so dirty from everything I've been doing today. So um, you'll notice already there's like twice as much fabric. So the cool thing about doing this is I can make this effect. Okay. You've got this cool effect to make it kind of look a little different. You see a lot of DJs do this. I'm not the first one to come up with this, but I thought it was brilliant, did some research, and this is what I came up with. And uh, let's go ahead and put the moving head on top of it. Now, today I'm gonna be throwing the Intimidator Beam 140 SR. I've had this, uh, these lights for, what, five plus years, and they're still going strong. Um, I've had like three lamps go out, but that's my own fault for not turning off the lamps before I turn them off, the fixtures off. So, let's show you. Okay, now, I haven't clamped it on there right now, and I'm just gonna kinda give it some pushes to kinda show you, I mean, it's sturdy, but it's not sturdy at the same time. This is, this is my honest opinion. I think a fixture like this is probably the biggest you're gonna get on there, and I would never put a TV personally on the front of this at the full height. Now, I'm gonna adjust the height a little bit, okay? I'm gonna bring it down two, or at least one notch. See? And I'll tell you why this is happening, because this is like squeezing everything in. So if I push this down, see how easy that was? I struggled until I brought the stuff that was pushing it in down. So um, personally, this is the height that I go for most of my events. It's about, you know, it's one notch down or two notches down, okay? and then I take and put the fixture on. Now, you can be all fancy in that stuff and buy clamps or drill a hole and, and clamp them. Uh, I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. I have been for years. I haven't had any issues, but I'm not sticking this above someone's head. Never do what I'm about to do if you're putting it above someone's head. So I literally just take good old gaff tape put it around the handle so the handle is actually grabbing it and then I put it under and through okay same thing with the other side okay and then I take a safety cable good old safety and I go personally through one of the handles and I put the, the handle that's, in the, that's built into the totem on one of the sides that the handles is gonna be. And then I can connect it here, okay? Now you're gonna go, oh, well, Cameron, people can see this. No, they can't. I put it just high enough that it's touching the handles and uh, the fan is still visible on the sides. Um, and then there you go, I've got a totem. Now, I wanna show you how much more sturdier this is. Yeah, it's cause we're on carpet. But honestly, who's gonna come over and knock it? Now I do have some buildings that I would probably not use this on. Uh, if there's a floor that's got seven inches under it and it it flexes 
and I know people are gonna be jumping up and down, I'll actually use trussing and I'll use a 30 inch base with a six inch to or six foot totem. And that way I have that more sturdiness. So I feel comfortable with that. That's a little bit about the totem. So now you know my opinion on the Rockville totem that you can buy on Amazon currently right now. I love it. It's a great option for those that are putting it in their vehicle or in their van or even just want more room in the trailer. I was using six foot trusses, large base plates, and then a base plate on top. The one thing I don't like about those is just how much room it takes. And then if you look at truss, there is a zigzag. And anytime I lit up the inside of the um, totem, you could see the shadow of those. With these, you don't get that. And that is a big win for me and for the wedding planners or event planners you're working with. They don't wanna see those things especially if you're lighting them up. Now in total, it took me five minutes to set it up, uh, but I was also walking through it and talking to the camera, and it took me just under four minutes to take it down and have it back in the bag. Thank you guys for jumping on the channel. This is my Rockville gear review, and uh, overall, I'm super happy with these. I do still use the totems uh, that are trussing, for big gigs where I just need to have that stability, but these for the small compact and the classy look that they give, they're a fantastic fixture and I'm super happy with them. Until next time, click that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.